is interesting. Ah! <laughs> it's got eight legs. It looks like a lobster. And if you get too close, you'll probably notice the smell of vinegar. Oh, I just got sprayed. Ah, I smell it. Oh, oh my God. Oh. Don't run just yet, though. There's more to these creatures than you might think. What are they shooting from their tails? And should you be scared if you come face to face with one? Feast your eyes on the vinegaroon, AKA the land lobster from hell. Let me clear a few things up. A vinegaroon is not a lobster. And even though it looks like a scorpion, it's not one of those either. But it's closely related to scorpions and is part of the arachnid class. If you look closer, it doesn't have a stinger like a scorpion. Instead, it has a whip tail. And its unusual tail can spray acid to help defend itself. That's pretty cool. And you may have guessed what vinegaroons spray from their tails. Psst, there's a hint in their name. It tastes great on fries, if you're Canadian or British. Yep, it's vinegar. Yummy. Vinegaroons can spray the liquid up to 61 centimeters to ward off predators like armadillos and raccoons. The acid is produced and stored in the pydigial glands, which are between the abdomen and tail. The glands are made of special cells to protect the vinegaroon from its own acid. Smart move. One thing that we don't fully understand is how it shoots the liquid out of its tail. One theory suggests that vinegaroons keep the liquid under pressure to eject it far and fast. But the actual mechanism that explains this is still a mystery. But this slightly stinky tactic isn't how the vinegaroon hunts. As an arachnid, it's got eight legs, but they only use six of them for walking. It uses the front pair for feeling around in the dark since they have poor eyesight. These legs also help detect prey by sensing vibrations from any movement nearby. Once they detect something edible, vinegaroons use extended mouth parts called pedipalps to catch and hold their prey. They like to munch on scorpions, cockroaches, and millipedes. And they sometimes feed on small lizards. Ah, the breakfast of champions. But should you be scared of a vinegaroon? Even though they have lobster-like pincers that can grab you, and they can shoot their acid spray, it's unlikely they would get aggressive unless you provoke them. So don't talk politics with it. But since their acid is mostly vinegar, you shouldn't have too many problems if you get sprayed. Just have some fries at hand. And you wouldn't want to disturb them, as they are so important in the ecosystem. They're both prey and predators, so they decrease the number of pests in tropical environments and drier areas. Unfortunately, we have inadvertently harmed vinegaroons in our search for insect repellent. Azadiractin, which comes from the neem tree, is great at repelling mosquitoes without affecting bees and spiders. But these arachnids aren't so lucky. The insecticide causes underdeveloped pedipalps, makes it harder to molt, and causes premature deaths in vinegaroons. And since we've been talking about creatures of the eight-legged variety, why not check out our world's biggest spider episode? They spray vinegar as a defense and have pincer-like pedipalps. That's what vinegaroons do, and that's what makes them crazy creatures.